Hello, everybody. Today is Sunday, and I don't have any toothpaste on me right now, do I? Because I just brushed my teeth. Okay, so uh, the package yesterday did not come, but it came today, earlier today. So this is what I got. I got the Sony A6000, which yes, is the camera that I bought Meg. So we now have two of them, one for me and one for Meg. It's just a really awesome camera. Here it is, um, it's a mirrorless camera. So um, if you guys didn't see the video before, um, I'm gonna explain a little bit about the camera now. If you did see the one where I got it with Meg, maybe I'll say something that I didn't say then. So it's a mirrorless camera. What that means is that there is no mirror behind the lens, like in a DSLR, like a Canon or a Nikon. So what that basically means is that there is, it is just the sensor there. And I know I'm exposing the sensor, what am I doing? Um, and there's a pile of dirt below me. There's Meg's pot of flower stuff. So there's no mirror there, which is pretty cool. Um, it enables the body to be a lot smaller than a traditional DSLR. It just kind of just flattens the form factor. This is kind of like what they call a pancake lens. Not all the way, but it's, it's rather short in length. Um, it's a power zoom lens, which I'm not, that's not my favorite thing in the world where you kind of just use this toggle for it to zoom in and out, as you see there. Um, I kind of like using the manual shift like on my Canon. It also has an electronic viewfinder. So this is your viewfinder here, like in a normal camera, but it is electronic. So you can actually see the changes that you are making with the manual settings and such like that. Um, the screen, it does not tilt 180 degrees, like all the way flat up, which would enable me to then vlog with it, which you're probably wondering why I didn't get a vlogging camera or why didn't I get a camera where it had that feature? It's a very good question. Well, I looked at my options. Um, this is around $700. I got it for 650 with a bunch of stuff with it. So I got a great deal. I could have even went cheaper than that if I bought it used. But the thing is, is that the other cameras that I was looking at was the Canon G7X, which is a, an extremely popular vlogging camera because the G7X is small, it's smaller than this, and you can just kind of hold it and the screen flips all the way up 180 degrees and it's really good in low light, which I actually shoot a lot of my vlogs in low light in the apartment and stuff like that. And I was like, man, I should really, really think about getting it, but it's $700 or $600 now. Um, I could also get it for close to 500 if I got like a refurbished, which I am totally not against getting. I actually got this brand new with stuff for 650, so it worked out. Just, I would only be using that camera for vlogs. I wouldn't be able to take like pictures. I mean, I, I would, the sensor's not that bad for that camera. However, there are better options such as RX100, Mark II, Mark III, Mark IV. They're just very, very expensive and also kind of the same thing. It's a vlogging camera, not as good in low light as the, um, as the Canon G7X, but it's an amazing camera. It could shoot 4K and it's in a much smaller body than this, but it was around $1,000 for what's a glorified point and shoot. An amazing camera with a viewfinder, which also the uh, G7X did not. The G7X only has the screen, which as I'm learning more and more about mirrorless cameras, it isn't too bad of a thing to not have a viewfinder. I think, Maybe in the future, after years with this camera, I might think about not having a viewfinder, but not as my one camera, maybe as like a secondary camera. I'm not sure about that yet. I guess it would depend on the screen. If the screen is absolutely beautiful, then maybe no viewfinder, but so the G7X doesn't have a viewfinder, it just has a screen, great in low light, but it was like $600 for only really a vlogging camera, not something that I'd be taking pictures with. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should have got it and tested it out and stuff like that, but we're going on our trip and I wanted to make a decision and I needed to make a decision. There's, like I said, the Sony RX100 series, the Mark IV or even the Mark III. The Mark III is more expensive than this camera. This is pretty much the best value for somebody who wants to make videos, maybe not front facing, and also, you know, be a photographer or explore photography, which 
I am all about. Um, I don't know if you guys know that, but whether it's on my website, which I've displayed some of my favorite images that I have at highfiletagger.com, or just my Instagram, which I've tried to post more, um, I've tried to post better pictures to my High Kyle Tagger Instagram. So I'm really excited. I'm going to show you what else I got with this and yeah. Bros, so see, yeah, we're kind of in a low light scenario here, even though the light's behind me there. And the iPhone, I have an iPhone 6, not the 6 Plus, the 6S, whatever the next model is. I don't have that, so I feel like the low light is just the only problem really with the iPhone it's a and the front facing camera if it was the same camera on both sides I really wouldn't need a vlogging camera but then the battery life of your phone being also your vlogging camera can be really annoying and the space that it takes up so what else did I get with the Sony a6000 I got two mini HDMI to HDMI cables first of all if you want to buy cable this specific cable. Amazon makes their own cables. It's called Amazon Basics. They make a bunch of different stuff like camera remotes, a bunch of like TV technology and stuff like that. This was $7. I got two of them, one for me, one for Meg. This cable is $30 at Best Buy. Save yourself some money, buy it from Amazon. I I'm sure this will last a while, maybe not years, maybe two years, but seven bucks well spent. And what this does is it plugs into the mini HDMI port on the A6000, allows you to use a TV or a monitor as a viewfinder. And that's perfect for the A6000 because it doesn't have the flip out screen, just like um, my Canon T3i or if you have a Canon 70D or something like that. So this is a very, very awesome cable. Um, depending on the port on your camera would obviously dictate what cable you need. And with Meg doing her um, makeup videos and stuff like that, we've kind of always struggled with having like a good view of what's in focus and stuff like that for her. Um, she just uses the one that's built onto the Canon T3i that I have, and it's tiny when you're sitting even a couple feet away. So um, she's now gonna be able to hook into the TV, use her new camera with the crazy autofocus where it focuses when you put like products up to it, and uh, hopefully that'll be really cool and work out really well. So what else did I get? Um, so I got the camera, this camera bag here, which is, you know, it's a camera bag. I'm not sure if I'll use it, but it's a little cool guy. And then I also got a, um, where is it? Here it is. And I also got this, which I showed you guys yesterday, a 32 gig, um, 70 megabyte read SD card, which is nice. I mean, it's not the fastest, but that's 32 gig card. I could use that. So I got that, the bag and the camera for 650, obviously before taxes, but that's great. The camera alone is 700. So that's awesome. I got two of the cables, seven bucks each. And then I also got two rechargeable batteries and a car charger and a like actual charger for the batteries. So now I have three batteries total and uh, I don't have to worry about not having a charge anywhere because they're pretty little and they could fit into like the camera bag that I have. So I'm fully prepared now for our trip to Yosemite and the Grand Canyon and all that stuff. Hopefully I'm gonna make some high quality videos. I can't do 4K with this camera. That's the A6300, which I wanted, but was almost twice the amount of money, which I didn't think was worth it right now. I may be kicking myself in a year about that, but if that's the case, then I'll sell this camera and get that one. Who am I kidding? I don't like selling anything that I own. I like keeping everything forever. I feel like I'm talking really fast today. I'm sorry. Okay, that's enough about the camera business. If you guys have any other questions about it or something like that, just ask me. I've only used it a little bit. I've used mags a couple times here and there. So now I have one and I'm gonna dive right in. I can share stuff directly to my phone. So hopefully, my Instagrams are going to be more frequent and hopefully I'm going to incorporate more crisp video with that thing because it does 60 frames per second. Good things, good things. I'm debating going to get some coffee because every time I leave my house to get coffee on a weekend, I end up having work just blow my phone up and now that the bridge is not in use near our house, we have to like go a crazy long way to get coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, which I'm addicted to. I'm addicted to it. I'm beeping. I told you guys I was gonna beep. <sighs> a lot of things, a lot of things going on, a lot of things. So 
I'm sorry if the vlogs have been patchy and not great recently. I feel like we've been very busy with things that I can't like really vlog and stuff. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but yeah. So um, it's absolutely beautiful out today. So you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go get some coffee and you're gonna come with me in the car. Cool. sanity's sake I think I'm gonna kind of leave the vlog at talking about the camera today because I feel like I talked about it for way too long and then what else am I gonna film today I may be lying to you I may film a bunch of other stuff and then throw it in in the vlog and then it's gonna be really long which is definitely a problem I have I mean I feel like I make my vlogs too long sometimes and then I'll post like a four minute vlog the, the next day and I'll be like, man, this, I need to find a balance. I'm not the best vlogger yet and I know that. So I don't, I hope you guys aren't expecting like amazing content to just start pumping out because I have this new camera and stuff like that. I mean, I, I definitely set the expectations very high for myself because I got a new camera and everything like that. And um, I think tomorrow is gonna be the day where I'm going to test just using that camera all day because I can't see myself if I want to vlog with it, which might be fine if I use um, like a tripod kind of gorilla tripod, you know, the bendy ones. Got a very, very wide lens, so you'll see me just fine. It'll just be way out like that instead of like this, which I don't know what you guys prefer. If you like to see my face up and close and personal or if you want to be distanced, and feel like there is a good social parameter between us. I don't even know what I'm saying. All I know is that it takes, all right, it's 2.30 right now. Let's see how long it's gonna take us to get to Dunkin' Donuts, okay? Because this bridge that I was telling you guys about that's out is just a menace to society. So it is 2.30, I'm just going to get some coffee and we'll see how long it takes me. All right, so I cheated and I went to a different Dunkin' Donuts because I was like, you know what? Maybe this one's quicker, but so it was, I got here at 2.38. So it took me eight minutes, which isn't bad, but I mean, I shouldn't have gone here though because this Dunkin' Donuts, there's this employee who's always here at a certain time when Meg used to stop here and she just completely disrespected Meg this one time in front of other customers and I was like yeah I'm never going there she wasn't here now and um I mean if I ever saw the person I'd have a a few words with her but um yeah I'm not gonna come to this Dunkin Donuts anymore I totally forgot about that sorry Meg hey baba hey baba <laughs> where's the little guy Where's Sundog? What you doing? Oh. Oh. Come here. And they're off. Harvester? Harvey, is this a big enough stick for you? Here, do you want this? Is this big enough for you? I knew it wasn't too big for you. Get it. Get that stick, Harvey. Get that. <laughs> oh. You... <laughs> Guys, share the stick. You're not gonna share the stick? You're gonna fight over it? Give me... <laughs> King of the sticks. King of the sticks. <laughs> Hi guys. It is work on paper stuff time. Have two puggles next to you, a cat at the end of the bed, and Grey's Anatomy on. I have enjoyed my camera today and didn't do too much with it, but um, I'll flash some pictures here and stuff. Let's get a little dramatic here. Dr. Bailey is having a child at the hospital and her husband's at the hospital because he was trying to make it to the childbirth. 
very dramatic. This is my family, and I love them, and we will see you tomorrow. Stay happy, stay healthy, have a little fun. Right? We have a little seal here. Do not bite the desk. Do not. Be good. Little troublemaker. Look at these fangs.